What's going on everybody and welcome back to a brand new episode on my channel as always I'm Jay and guys I am fresh off of Rhode Island Comic Con 2018 and guys it was a hell of a time but in today's video what I'm going to be doing is a nice little review on the Blu-ray release of the original Batman animated series and guys all I can say right out the box is I love it. The actual packaging that it came with was this one right here, as you can see, and it came with several different things. It comes with the actual DVD set, it comes with the three Funkos that you get on the top, it comes with a digital code for the entire series. If you grew up a 90s kid, you know exactly what I'm talking about, and if you love this cartoon, you should be getting your hands on this or the collection, because guys, these Blu-rays are flawless. And the thing is, is these Blu-rays, it comes with the addition of the Mask of the Phantasm and the Batman Sub-Zero film, which is excellent. I mean, you're not having a complete collection of the Batman animated series if you don't have those two key films right there. So when you actually open up the box itself, it does come with the actual DVD case, which mine and I actually got signed by uh, Lauren Lester, Tara Strong, and uh, Kevin Conroy at this year's Comic-Con, which was awesome. And breaking out with it, it's a nice awesome hardcover booklet and when you open it up you have the outside book ends with all of Batman's rogues gallery it's it's so awesome let me tell you and on the other end you have the rest of them and of course you get the digital code which I'm not telling you guys because that's mine and uh, yeah I'm sorry I, I don't like to share my stuff in the beginning you have a forward by Alan Burnett basically describing his fond memories of doing the series writing and producing and everything like that and then you jump into all of the seasons and all of the discs and guys like I said that they are just so well put together and so amazing and when you're watching this you know how whenever you're transferring DVDs or older kind of films TV animation into kind of a new format sometimes the quality of it isn't kept the integrity of the actual original piece whether they're changing the way that the format is with uh, the screen being full screen or widescreen or the quality of the images and everything that's always a worry and even some things such as like manga for instance or anime rather Dragon Ball Z there's been so many different versions of the actual show that have been released with different looks and different grains and all this and that stuff but this one guys this is the perfect blend and balance they really took their time on this from the intro titles all the way into all the episodes that you're going to watch. They did an outstanding job. They kept the integrity of the show. One, because they preserved the format, which was 4x3 full screen. But also, they cleaned up the images. Not too much, but just enough to where all the dust and grime, for the most part, is off of the screen. And, guys, it is glowing. The colors pop. You can actually see the cells and the shadows of all the overlaid drawings and everything. And guys, I have to be honest, it feels like I'm watching this for the first time all over again, and it's just so incredible. It's 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 unbelievable how great that these look. You know, for those collectors, you probably had the other box sets, the four volumes, and, you know, they had great special features. They had great uh, quality and everything in there. And when you move and upgrade to this, you're really not losing anything, because one of the great things about this box set is, sure... The menus are slightly different, but if you notice, they actually recycle the menu music and everything like that, so that's still there. And additionally, all of the special features that were on the previous DVDs are right on these discs as well. So you're upgrading on all fronts. You're keeping all the special features, which, in my opinion, I love because whenever you buy different versions of something, whether it's on Blu-ray, DVD, or even a reissue of anything... One of the things that are my pet peeves is that they don't keep the special features that were done previously... And as a collector, I can say unequivocally that this is the definitive collector's box set. It takes all the special features, all the episodes, cleans the episodes up, keeps the special features, puts it in there. And then I believe that there is also a bonus disc, if I'm remembering correctly, which has some new special features and uh, a retrospective. Um, and yeah, it's just, it's just so, so awesome. And in addition to this, like I said... There were the Funkos that came with this, but then there are also several different lenticular cards inside of the box set as well, showcasing different points of the show in the series and uh, in some very iconic moments. And you know what one of the funny things is? Those lenticular cards actually remind me very much of the old trading cards that used to be around when I was little. And again, 
nostalgia so much nostalgia is packed into this box set and guys again if you if you're thinking about getting it or if you haven't gotten it uh, guys get this because this is a, the definitive collection of batman the animated series hands down bar none nothing else i can say about that but before i drool too much over this amazing collector's set Guys, let me know down below what some of your favorite episodes are of the Batman animated series. And if you do have this lovely box set, please let me know what you think of it down below. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Do you wish that they would have thrown something else in there? And what other titles do you think that they should come out next? Personally, I would love to see Batman Beyond get the star treatment. And of course, Superman is rumored to be the next one to get the star treatment. So we'll definitely be keeping an eye out for that. As far as anything else, please, like I said, let me know down below. If you like what you see here with this review, please subscribe and take a look around my entire channel. And if you are subscribed, please make sure that you hit the notification bell. That way you never miss a moment of my content. But anyway, Bat fans, this is all the time that I have for today. And keep an eye out. I'm going to be binge watching this so you can bet I'll be coming out with an episode of some of my favorite episodes of the entire Batman animated series. Or, if I'm feeling a little bold... Maybe I'll review every single episode, including the two films. But anyway, guys, that is completely all the time that I have for today. Thanks for watching, and take care.